Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem states that a if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is p of c. Okay. So p of x, therefore, is our dividend, and then our divisor is x minus c. Sometimes in other, in other books, um, x minus k ito, x minus k. Um, pero okay lang yan, uh, they are the same thing. So, x minus c or x minus k. Okay? And uh, whatever is that here, if this is uh, x minus k, then the remainder is p of k. Right? Let's have an example. If p of x equals x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 3 is divided by x plus 2, then the remainder is obtained by evaluating p of negative 2. Kasi we have here... Our divisor is x plus 2. So, if we write that in the form of x minus c, then this becomes x minus negative 2. Okay? And so, therefore, our c value or the value of c is negative 2. Therefore, we can find the remainder, sabi ni remainder theorem. We can find the remainder by p of c, meaning i uh, substitute natin yung value ng c. So, that becomes p of negative 2. Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng x, okay, lahat ng x dito, isubstitute ninyo yung negative 2. So, instead of x, you write here negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 squared and so on. So, let's have an example. Okay, what is the remainder when 3x to the power of 100 plus 55x to the power of 3 Minus 1 is divided by x plus 1. So, eto, the divisor is x plus 1. The dividend is this one, this polynomial. So, we need to find the value of c. So, x plus 1 is x, uh, x plus 1 that is equal to x minus negative 1. Okay? Or di ba, parang tatandaan lang natin, uh, if this is positive, then the value of our C is negative. Or if this is negative, the value of our C is positive. Ganyan lang yan. Right. So, to find the remainder when x, uh, when 3x raised to 100 plus 55x raised to 3 minus 1 is divided by x plus 1, we use the remainder theorem. Ayun sabi ko, ko nga kanina. So, when we use the remainder theorem, we need to find the value of our C. And in this case, our C is negative 1. Okay? So, therefore, we are going to substitute, substitute the value of uh, C to X. So, evaluate P of X at X equals negative 1. At yung C natin. Right? So, instead of X, we write negative 1. P of negative 1 equals 3 times. Kapag ka magkadikit yung numerical value or yung number at saka yung variable, ibig sabihin multiplication. Yan ha, tatandaan yan. Uh, 3 times negative 1 raised to 100 plus 55 times negative 1 cubed minus 1. Okay? Equals negative 1 raised to 100 is positive 1. Paano yan? 100 is even. Uh, even ito, tapos negative sa loob. So, the answer is really positive. Okay? 1 raised to 100 is still 1. So, positive 1 yan. So, 3 times 1 equals 3. Okay? Kaya meron tayong 3 dito. Um, if you have your calculators, which I expect you to have, kasi grade 10, I required you to have scientific calculator. Um, 55 times negative 1. Ito naman, negative 1 raised to 3. 3 is an odd number. So, therefore, if we have negative here as our base, sa base natin, therefore, ang sagot ay negative din kasi add yan. So, negative din ang sagot. And then, 1 raised to 3 is still 1. So, 55 times negative 1. And then, we have here negative 1. Okay, dapat walang maiiwan, ha? Okay, so, 3 times 1, that's 3. 55 times negative 1, that's negative 55. And then, of course, we have negative 1. And then, perform the indicated operations. Right. So, 3 minus 55 minus 1, that is equal to negative 53. So, therefore, um, by virtue of the remainder theorem, 
uh, we can say that the remainder is negative 53. Okay? The remainder is negative 53. Alam niyo yung remainder, unang-una, dun sa previous lesson natin, yung synthetic division. Pwedeng gamitin yung synthetic division to find the remainder. Okay? When a given polynomial is divided by another polynomial. So, pero, um, synthetic division, tapos yung hinahanap sa atin ay remainder lang. Masyadong mahaba na yon yung synthetic division. This is parang shortcut siya. Short way to find the remainder uh, without using synthetic division. Lalong-lalo na yung long division method. That's really, really long. Okay? Longer than synthetic. Yung long division method. Okay? So, we can find the remainder using long division method, using synthetic division, and using the remainder theorem. Right? Let's have another example. If 47 is the remainder when 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus k is divided by x minus 2, then what is the value of k? So, ano daw ito dito? Okay. So, remember that the remainder is 47. To find the value of k, we have to follow the steps. Okay, let p of x, of course, ito yung ano natin, no, dividend, that's p of x, equals 3x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus k. Okay, wag iiwan si k, dahil yan ang hinahanap natin. And x minus c equals x minus 2. So, uh, the, the, the value of c here is positive 2. Okay? So, we substitute... Uh, since the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus 2 is 47, by the remainder theorem, we say that p of 2, okay, because we substitute x here with 2. Uh, eto siya, dito nang galing, oh. Uh -huh. So, p of x, that's p of 2, equals 47. Bakit 47, ma'am? Kasi 47 yung remainder. Sabi niya, eh, oh. The remainder, 47 is the remainder. So, p of 2 equals 47. And so, we evaluate and equate P of 2 to 47. Diba? P of 2 equals 47. So, therefore, pag i-substitute natin yung 2 sa original na polynomial, it should be equal to 47. Okay? So, what is the value of K when this is equal to 47? So, 2 cube, of course, uh, you can use your calculator uh, to solve this or pwede yung step-by-step -step na isolve. Ito, so, uh, magiging 38 plus k, no? Isolve nyo lahat yan, 3 times 8 plus 5 times 4 minus 6, magiging 38, and then plus k. Um, manipulating the equation, so, addition property of equality, minus 38 dito, yan, minus 38 din dito. Okay. Para mawala si 38, may iiwan na lang si k. So, 47 minus 38, that is 9. So, therefore, the value of k is 9. To check if the answer is correct, we can substitute k to 9. k equals 9 to p of x. And evaluate p of 2 if it's really 47. Okay. So, p of x equals 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 3x plus k. So, um, ilalagay natin dito si yung value ng k, which is 9. Ayan, naging 9 na siya. Right? And we are going to substitute p of 2. Evaluate natin. Kung talaga bang 47. Ayan na. 3 times 2 cubed plus 5 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 9. Right? Kung 47 ba. And that is really... 47. Right. Try nyo i-check yan sa calculator. 3 times 8 plus 5 times 4 minus 6 plus 9. So, that's 47. Okay. If they are really equal, then your answer is correct. Okay. So, since the value of P of 2 is 47, the value of K is correct.